Hello, uh, this is Guy Solis, and today I'm going to be doing a couple test shaves on some Japanese razors I found. I'm using the Barrister Man Cheshire. I'm using the uh, Rod Neep shave brush gifted to me by Jam and G.I. James. And uh, I'm going to be using the Mirasol plastic to finish off. So today I have the Bilbo chemical steel Japanese. This razor is uh, about an inch shorter, so it's a little stubby. And I'm going to show you this other one in comparison. This one here is the Hattison. This one is a beautiful razor. Look at this thing. Uh, just a sweet, sweet razor. So, but in comparison, here is what they look like. Uh, I, I don't. I like the shorter blades. They shave well. Um, you have less blade to worry about. So, let's get started. I got things I got to do. So, uh, I got my soap blooming. And... Let's get lathering a little bit. Kind of shifting gears over here. Uh, I have all these razors and a bunch of strops and it's just a pain in the ass to try to get people to buy them. So I'm, I'm just kind of doing something a little bit different. And I have a plan. Uh, where I can maybe open up a shave shop in about six months. And I don't want it to be no cheesy, stupid thing, you know. I want it to be like full bore. Something that'll attract attention from miles around, you know. So, put a little Noxzeme on my face. It's going to be a short shave. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to videotape the whole shave. Uh, I kind of just want to show off the razors, and then I'll just kind of shave uh, at my leisure and my own pleasure. So, uh, looks like that should do it. Looks like I'm getting ready to drop a hair there. So, so my chickens are giving eggs. Uh, they come out kind of small. And then when, as they get older, they get bigger eggs. I went through a big effort this last weekend. Just uh, the house I gave them and put the, you know, the coop and all that stuff on was uh, made for my ducks that I had. And uh, I had to raise a roof about a foot and put on the laying boxes and do all this stuff. And it was just a pain in the butt. I'm not digging carpentry as much as I used to anymore. Love the scent. So if you're looking for an excellent straight razor, uh, contact me right now. Uh, people, people are always like, it's sticker shock, you know. And it's like, you know, what? I don't have a straight razor salesman coming through my to my door selling me these, you know, an, an economy pack of razors. I have to go hunt these things out, and I take the risk of uh, buying lemons, you know. And so, 
you know, they are what they are. I mean, I'm not giving these things away, you know. All right, so this is the, uh, if I can show this emblem better. That should be it. This is the, the stumpy. Feels, feels good in your hands. It's got a good balance of everything. It's kind of funny because I, I always could never shave my, my chin and then uh, I just keep watching uh, Steve shaves and I just somehow just naturally picked up his technique for shaving the, the chin so and uh, I've been doing it it's, it's pretty nice actually all right this one here is the Hattison All right, this is this is a nice razor. I really dig this one. I don't have very many razors that I wouldn't mind keeping, actually. shaving my chin with my left hand though. So thing is shaving good call it hair just uh yeah I just shaved uh, day before yesterday no I shaved yesterday because I had some uh, razors I had to send out so got a little nick right there looks like but um, so Back to the Hattison this way. True Steve fashion. <clears throat> yeah, so. Alright, let's go to the uh, chemical steel.
Nice, comfortable shave. <clears throat> yes. Those aren't nicks. They're just, you know, little bumps that's on my face. Very nice. Okay, so if anyone's interested in a straight razor or a strop, you know who to come to. Later.